Hello, friends. Uh, I'm Wayne Yazel, uh, co-founder and uh, CEO and whatever you want to call it. The uh, Country Arbor Independent Center by Cedars. Uh, I'm here at home in Copan, Oklahoma. Uh, that thing right there is Mr. Knows the Doll. That's Mr. Know it All. Let's ask it a question. How many people like my videos? Negative. So nobody likes my videos, huh? Now you remember the old one. Right? See? He knows it all. Nobody likes my videos. So I'm just wasting my time. But, but my friend, uh, what I do, okay, what I'm trying to do, okay, is I'm trying to save these drive in theater before they get torn down. I mean, a bunch of them are already abandoned, demolished by uh, vandals who had nothing better to do but destroy them. Uh, but I need your help. I cannot go out and do this on my income, okay? Um, last three years, in 2017, when I started this stuff, okay? I've been trying to get the money. I got business plans. I know what to need to be done. Put back in there, Joey. But uh, what I'm trying to do is save them. Now, for me to do it correctly, okay, I'm doing fundedtarget.com. They're so damn outdated. For me to get the uh, Richland Center, Wisconsin, them two, okay, hundred eighty thousand dollars. Then it updates wow. and all that stuff. Okay, so I think about a million dollars at least, or at least you know, yeah, of course, uh, five million. So but anyway, I, I'm sitting here watching the uh, small Bigfoot, small foot TV set. Uh, it won't just bubble, so. But anyway, my friend, it's always quit. But I'm here at home. For me to continue doing what I'm doing, okay, um, I'll have to have transportation. Funding for all that stuff to go look at them, evaluate them, inspect them, make a list of what needs to be done to them. If you got some in your area, I'll do my best. Now, I'd like to. Uh, where's Chicago? Okay. A guy from uh, down there talking about the Cascade Driving Theater. Okay. Slow down a couple years now. Uh. Talking to villagers, now uh, we're sold, but still under, uh, oh, That's what I'm gonna do now. I forget what's going on. Anyway, it's been sold for, uh, eight million and, uh, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I've contacted villagers down there, Zoe, no, about it. Okay, and I just stop it, Zoe. All you're gonna do is start a fight. Stop it. No, 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 no. You're a bad girl. Bad girls don't get petted. No, no, bad girls don't get petted. And you don't need to jump on my lap, either, Angel. But anyway, uh, the Cascade Driving Theater. I don't know. I haven't heard nothing back for about a week now from the realtor. We week and a half. She asked me if, if you want to find out if we want to sell it. Yeah, find out if we want to sell it. Now, I told that the owner who owned it and run it for a long, 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 long time is trying to work a deal. So I took this back out of it, okay? 
I'm not to help them out. Okay, but but anyway, uh, well, um, did he tell me about the uh, what is it? Uh, Duana Juliet, Illinois. Okay. I'm not going to contact. I already found out information about it. Okay. The owner at the address. But I'm not going to contact them because I've already got uh, two in Wisconsin, one, uh, two in Illinois, two or three in Illinois. Well, I got nine total, but I have no money. Okay. I'm not a millionaire. I'm not Donald Trump. I don't have billions of dollars hanging around. Okay, I've been trying to get a loan. And bank says, oh, you're a poor man. You don't need it. Goodbye. Leave. Okay? I'm like you. You try to go down there, ask for a, a small business loan of $2 million. Okay, that's $200,000 cash you got to come down with. Okay? $200,000 200, to $400,000. Do you have that land amount? Do you got a collateral to put up for that much money? Nobody does. I don't. I got a mortgage and everything. I want Social Security. Sucks. I hate Social Security. You better pay the thing bills. But anyway, my friends, uh, I have a bunch of shares, but nobody contacted me. I know you don't believe me and all that stuff, but you know, I got the TP Driving Theater in Spoke, Oklahoma. Okay, now the owners will not budge. They want $295,000 for that. Okay, you, you can look online and see how bad it is. They've been vandalized and all that wonderful stuff. And then, uh, in a drive in, uh, the trail driving, okay, I contact the owner, so I contact the wire. I can buy it for $200,000, but then you need about maybe uh, $500,000 to uh, put a new contestant stand in, uh, cut all the trees down, rewiring, a uh, new ticket booth, and all that wonderful stuff, okay? Do you have a movie broker? I do. Do you have, uh, for a 35mm, like, uh, for theater, uh, do you have a technician who come in and make sure that they're operational? You want to sort of come the film, okay? I do. I have all the stuff. I have the movie companies where you get the film from, okay? Uh, I also have the by 35. I mean, a affordable driving theater, uh, 52 foot by uh, 24, I think, what it is. Okay, you can run DVDs, uh, or I, I like to have an old projector. Put a little bit of film projector, so maybe it's a little cat, you know. Okay, do I have the license for that, uh, my friend? Well, the projector and all that stuff, sound system, all that stuff for it. You're looking at $140,000 for that. Okay, then you got the uh, license for you to show movies on. Okay, the licensing is about four hundred fifty dollars a day. That's for the license to show a movie on a day. Okay, so I have to pay four hundred fifty dollars a day if we're gonna do it for Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. So you figure four hundred fifty times three. Okay, that's what it cost me to show movies. Then I gotta have a, a place to show movies. Then I got uh, porta potties. Gotta have food. Okay. So, okay. Hey! Thank you for protecting me from anyone. Something's over there picking on Chippy. But anyway, uh, that's Chippy Terror. Yeah, my stuff. Oh, this.
Just in case you all think I'm fake. I'm real. I'm retired. Okay. I am flat retired. I am looking for people who are high energy and willing to help out with these drive-ins and these theaters, okay? Uh, I've been by one, uh, we're posted on drive-in and theater sites, but uh, it's in Texas, but I don't know. But, uh, like I said, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to save our history in driving season, okay? Now, Baltimore, Oklahoma, I had one of the hilltop driving. It's shut down because of the apartments next to it. Okay, kids, parents are playing about, kids watching movies from it. So it's closed down for that. I didn't know what I used to have one. It disappeared a long, 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 long time ago. Um, Pahaska, Ponca City, uh, Caney, Kansas. Uh, it disappeared back in the late. 80s, I think. Coffeeville, Kansas, I think, or in the first Kansas, one or two. Uh, it's gone. So, the closest one in Oklahoma that we can go to is uh, Tulsa, the Amal Twin Driving Theater. Oh, I don't know Ah, YouTube, I don't like that. Okay. Well put. In a mission. Sorry about sneezing, my friend. Excuse me. But my friends, uh, like I said, Admiral Twin is the only one close to here, it's about 90 miles. Talks so home. But, uh, hardly anybody goes to it because it's part of the guy. Now, I'm trying to save our history and everything. By buying them up, restoring them, and opening them back up. Putting people to work. My main issue is helping the community out, okay? To helping putting people to work, okay? The people who want to work, want to movie. Now, I know about blockbusters, these red boxes and all that stuff. Or you can get online, pay $9.95 a month. For membership fee for uh, rent a DVD, you need one or two of them. But then you got to pay for it. But then the average is well, guess what? You bought the movie, right? And they got sites you can download movies. But mine is all family orientated, family friendly. Okay, you treat it like a family member, not like a number, like like these. Big chain theater that cost an arm and leg, okay? But, um, well, if we can help people out, we will. If you want to get involved with this, helping me uh, provide people with a wonderful drive in theater, a wonderful theater to go to. You see, I have one in um, the owner, I can buy it. In uh, Springfield, Colorado, for one fifty thousand. The project, I mean, uh, the stand is in great shape, but he tore down the screen. But I got to do that. Got too much money for that. So if you're in Springfield, Colorado, please help me raise the money, buy it, and restore it. And then um, I said two in Oklahoma. Me. Help me out, me. And then, uh, the Moonlight Drive In Theater in Everton, Virginia. $750,000. And these new work and everything was vandalized. And so I'm looking about maybe a million dollars for that, or maybe two million for that. And I don't know how many offices down there. Um, Let's see, there's one drive-in theater, I can't remember the town, in, in, in the Illinois, I found. Only wants $150,000 for it. It's probably down about two or three years. But it will be vandalized, guaranteed. 
And then uh, the Liberty Theater, I don't know if it's been torn down or what, yeah, I haven't checked with it. That's a big one for that one. It's about a million dollars. Taxes. Now, if you think it's easy, uh, call the assessor's office, find out about the property taxes and personal taxes and all that wonderful stuff. It ain't. You're on the phone 24 7, 7 days a week. Well, at least five days a week. And then you got to type up letters, hit them out to the people. Now, the one in Morrison, Texas, the old road theater, I never heard back from them. I probably have to end up going down there, see if I can find out where they are. But, you know, most Texas is a long way from here. Okay, got one in the Brownfield, Texas. Go start driving. Go right to our uh, theater. I can buy it for $30,000 if they, I ain't sold it already. But it needs a lot of work. Maybe about four or $500,000 more repairs. Well, uh, the town wants me, I don't know how I got wrapped up in that. Brownfield, Texas wants me to do um, a community center for the kids. Well, that's a good idea, but I need help. It, well, we'll talk about it later. Well, like I said, if you want to help me out, please contact me at 918-534-6957 or 918-534-7279. Uh, Wayne Yazel, okay. Feel free or email me at Country Arbor Independent Cinema Theaters at Outlook.com or Wayne Yazel at Yahoo.com or Country Arbor Cinema Theaters at Gmail.com. Okay, you, you can contact me the way up. What we want to do. Or, I mean, well, it's up to you, my friends. I'm looking for your help in everything, okay? I'm on everything. I need high energy people who are willing to help out, help me track these down, help me go out, and look at them, do an invest in, uh, inspection on them, make up a list of what needs to be done, find the owners, contact them. If they want to sell it or not, buy it, restore it, open it back up, and hire managers and stuff like that, because I can't do it anymore. I'm 60 years old, people. Okay? And I'm doing this here since 2017 by myself. Okay? By myself. I've asked for help. I get it. We're not helping nobody. What saddens me about our community is, okay, you all want them open up, okay, but uh, nobody wants to help out, but I said, if you want to contact me, please help me, I'm looking for help, ASAP, okay, Zoe, no. Well, yeah, I better get Zoe's pick on Angel for a fight, so, okay. Talk to you later, bye.